Okay, I got a safety on here. Click it up. Which way's up? There you go. Oh, that way's up. Okay. Careful not to burn my shoes. How long do I uh, do it for? Like, how long are the bursts? Cut the whole panel out. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make a square. Not cut. Oh. Ah. <laughs> the thing that was weird about it was how little I felt the thing cut. Maybe this is what it likes. Maybe it's, this is what it's like to uh, to hold a lightsaber. There's no sensation of the plasma cutter melting through the metal. Of course, Will's doing a lot better than I am because I was holding the. Uh, the shield up with one hand and trying to cut with the other. Oh, he did way better than me. Made a nice square. The thing makes this hissing sound, I guess of the compressed air coming out. And then once it clicks in, you really... All right, I see a sort of a light come out. That's a lot of sparks. And I also was going way too fast, because I only cut halfway through. Man, that's a lot of sparks. I would feel a lot better if I had car hearts on, or some, or like a much heavier pair of jeans. Is there a special way to let this thing sit down? Although the, the sparks that were coming off of it weren't very hot. I could feel a little of it hit, hit my legs, but it uh, wasn't quite as uh, nasty as it was. Now I gotta remember not to look at that thing now. There he goes. The loudest thing that this uh, machine makes is the hissing of the compressed air that comes out. But the hard thing is the right angle of this cutter is very large and it's very hard to see where where your cutting line is now what i am going to have to use this on the falcon to cut out the shock towers and i really want to make oh that's interesting as this thing cuts i can see the i can see the metal turning into goo liquid not exactly drippy drippy but more like more like nickelodeon jack or or snot really not the best way to describe this okay this flex plate is getting hot and i can kind of feel it near my wrist i'm going to stop here in a second and take a look at what i did there Now I wasn't able to make uh, a complete cut all the way through and uh, the goo just kind of fell back on itself there. As I saw it cutting, I saw the edges of the metal kind of go together and uh, I here <laughs> the goo dripped away from the metal. Yeah, I think that's what happened here. Yeah. Uh, but then he, here, the, like as the metal as the metal metal melted, it just fell away. Yeah. But here it didn't. So either I guess I was going too fast. All right. You getting it? Well, I'm learning. The interesting thing is that 
And maybe there's just some sort of Jedi workaround in that the large head of this of the cutter, as it's on a right angle, I can't see where the cut is taking place. Hey, just tilt it to the side just a little bit. Okay. Tilt it to the side just a little bit. Yeah, I look in and you can see exactly where the cut. Can the edge of this uh, barrel here rest on the metal? As long as you don't hold it. All right. He says can, you can rest it a little bit on the metal. Not. Oh, you found some more gloves. Oh, on the gigantic pile of gloves that are over there. But with a little practice on this thing, I can see how useful this will be. I'm going to leave Will to that for a little minute and just watch off these goggles. That knob all the way up. Look on there. There's a power ring. It's thicker. Yeah. It's right on, it's, it's on 35. Well, up on 40, it'll cut 7 8 inch steel. All right, Bruce says over there that if you turn it up on 40, it'll cut 7 8 because we were trying to cut the teeth on the edge of this thing where it's thick. All right. Up to 40, it'll go right through it. All right, the thing is on 40, and that's maximum. You can't. If you want to go through this. Yeah. All right, Bruce is on it now. He's starting from the outside, going in. I'm, I'm watching his hands. He's holding the tool well down on, the, on its end. He also has a very wide stance with his leg to keep the sparks from hitting it. He says, uh, make a few passes, and then it'll, then it'll go off. That certainly was a lot of sparks. Okay, I'm going to try to do this thing. This cutter is now set on maximum. I'm going to start here from the outside. And also squat like this. Yep, that is a lot of sparks. the maximum I can see the jet of whatever is coming out and uh, honestly it's a little bit easier ooh I felt that it's a little bit easier to cut it when it's cranked up like this Again, it's gooping up on this end and not cutting all the way through. Wow, that's a lot of fun. I wonder if it's safe to go in these little short bursts like this so I can keep examining where I'm cutting. Oh, again, this cord, there it is. I'm wearing sneakers and some of the sparks came down here and caught me right through the right through the mesh of these running shoes. How about that?